The Bahamas will be the center of attention next year as it will host the IAAF World Relays. It's a first for the country as the world's greatest athletes will flock here. Altavis Munnings attended government's press conference this morning announcing preparations for the global sports meet. The dates, May 24th and 25th, 2014. That's when more than 1,000 athletes and officials from more than 200 countries will compete in the Bahamas at the 2014 IAAF World Relays. Organizing these championships won't be easy. The government revealed members of the local organizing committee at a press conference Monday. Heading the group are National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage, who will serve as the government and cabinet representative, and veteran athlete Keith Parker as chairman and president. And I think with the team we're assembling to manage and uh, put on these uh, relays, uh, we'll have a very, very successful event. The government plans to spend between 3 and $5 million for each of the world relays to be held here in 2014 and 2015. And the Christie administration is confident of a double return on that figure. The government says hosting of the relays translates into more than 500 jobs, more than 300 hotel rooms, and an array of global advertising. And while this is very good news, Prime Minister Perry Christie is hoping that the youth, our future track and field athletes, take advantage of this dynamic opportunity. We have the wherewithal to produce athletes who will beat the best in the world. And so we, we want never to give up on the commitment to develop our athletes and our athletics, our sports really, in our country. Now the government is encouraging Bahamians everywhere to fill the new Thomas A. Robinson Stadium when the 2014 IAAF World Relays are held here. Sports Minister Dr. Daniel Johnson also hinted that Bahamian culture will be displayed at its best. We have a major thing coming with our Baham Bahamian Carnival, or Bahamian Style Carnival. So you may see a preview of one or two of the things we have planned um, on, a, on a massive scale. Um, uh, we have young people involved in that, obviously. Um, we, we have the opportunity on several occasions to do this showcase. Altaviz Munnings, ZNS Network News.